Hey kids, I gotta turn the camera on and walk around to do these videos because I'm shooting them by myself. I got the kids inside so I can do this video. Um, so I got the angles cut on the bottom of these uh, steps for the playhouse that are going up to the loft. And my next thing I wanna do is I wanna, I'm actually gonna slot these or what they call a dado out where the steps are gonna go. Um, and to do it, I'm gonna use my circular saw. I've got the blade adjusted, so it's just going to go down on this material and remove about a half of an inch, but that half inch is going to make these steps really strong. Um, I've got it clamped down so it can't move. You know, any time that you um, are by yourself, using the clamp to hold something down is great because if I didn't do that, this thing's just going to slide forward on me, so I want to make sure it's secure. Now, this works really good, this notching technique or slotting technique. You know, if you're building decks or anything, you can use a circular saw. One of the things you want to make sure of is you have a really good sharp blade. Now, I'm going to have to make several passes, and then when I'm done, I'm going to clean it up with the chisel, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's going to be really loud. I'm probably going to make about 10 passes, and when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and clean, clean this up with the chisel, and I got one of my steps to see if it fits when I'm done, you know, because we might have to make a few adjustments, but hopefully I'll get it right on the first time. So anyway, here we go. All right, that was pretty loud. My ears are ringing right now. Probably should have earplugs in, but I don't have any here at the house. Um, so now what I'm left with is I made all of these passes and now I have to remove this material. So a chisel works really good for this. I just take it, just take it in there and just start removing all this material. Now, one little tip I can give you is I went to the direction of the wide side of the, the actual base on my saw so that saw had good support so I don't teeter down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through, make sure you don't ever come back towards yourself, but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clean this up. This isn't the sharpest chisel in the world, but it's the best one I have here at the house. I have a little bit better one, but it's a smaller chisel. So you just go through. This one's real sharp. And you clean everything up nice. Nice and easy. Clean it up real good in that base. You know, you can even take, if you want to, to really clean it up, take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it on a block of wood and you can give it sand and it'll get it nice and flat. But basically what I've done is I've created a channel for that step to go in and that's a really nice tight fit and that's something that I did with the circular saw and then I'm going to add a couple of screws from the outside in and that'll make it really secure for the kids and this step is on the angle that we figured out earlier when I took the level and I made that cut line so that's why you can slot something out with a circular saw by making several passes and cleaning it up with a chisel um, so in my next video, what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna make some hand holes that I'm gonna actually drill through with something called a hole saw and that'll complete the series of videos on this ladder. So anyway, I hope this video finds you good and I'll see you tomorrow.